back guys this is donna with love rocks and we are back again with another rock this is a little birdhouse uh with a bird on it um i got this from a adult coloring book that i found so uh let's start off by by all means i have to give you guys the credit um thank you every single one of you for subscribing to our channel. We really appreciate it. The channel is growing and that is amazing. And it's it's so nice to be able to put out more videos because it, it is growing. So thank you very much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It, it really does help us. Um, it's put into an algorithm and it pushes our videos out there to more people. So um, those subscriptions are very important. I never realized that until I got into YouTubing, how important the subscription is. Also, if you subscribe, you will be notified every time a new video comes out. Um, so you'll be the first one to, to see it. Um, second thing is if you subscribe and comment under the video, you'll automatically be put in the drawing for the rock. All of my rocks, uh, are they go out to people they are drawn for after every video. So um, thank you again, and I hope that you subscribe and stay with us. So let's talk about this rock. Um, I sat down and was looking for something that was different than a gnome to do. And I found this, like I said, in an adult coloring book, which if you have access to some of those, there are some really neat pictures in some of them to do. Um, I don't know that they're my favorites, but they are definitely uh, great for getting ideas, especially when you're trying to come up with something to paint. I paint at least one rock a week, sometimes two rocks a week, and so uh, to put on videos. And so I, I, I sometimes need to be inspired by something. So this is a great way to do that. Um, this was probably one of the most challenging rocks I've ever done. I picked this out because I thought it was cute. I thought it would be fun to do something with wood on it. Uh, I thought that there might be a little challenge with the coloring, but I thought, oh my gosh, this is gonna be great for doing shading and, and putting in those wood grains and everything. And um, what I didn't take it in, into account was that I am putting a very straight, very straight lined, very square uh, item on a very irregular, very rough, uh, rounded object like a rock. And so when I got to doing this, it was very challenging. I thought this was going to be an easy peasy, throw this together in 30 minute, cute little project. And it turned out to be one of the most um, challenging ones that I've done in a really long time. Um, my other problem was that as I was working this, um, I was... I, I was having problems getting my colors because they are pretty dark to stay along the lines and and I really should have sprayed this rock before I started. That was my issue. Um, I, I I use these rocks all the time. I get these rocks at one of the big box stores out in their garden uh, uh, section and I use them all the time and I've never had a problem with them soaking up the paint like this one did. Um, it could have been could have been a lot of things. It could be the dryness of my home. It could have been um, the rock, just the porousness of this particular rock. It could have been the area that I was on, whatever. Um, but I, I did have some issues with um, it sucking the paint up into the rock, which uh, with that porousness, it, it pulled the um, paint into areas that I didn't want it to pull into. So I tried to fix that by putting some light colored background, but I put the background in after the fact. So it kind of looks hodgepodgey a little bit towards the end, but the structure of the, the actual project, the painting of the project, um, I think will help anyone who wants to do something that is um, a square surface that wants to show uh, the highlights and, the, and, and just the, the 3D-ness of a, um, of an object on a flat surface. So let's get started from there. Um, I kind of like flowers. Um, I think anyone who watched my video with the gnome with the flower, that's not my strongest point, neither is birds. 
So um, I did this little bird. He turned out okay, um, but he's not the best little bird I've ever seen in my in my uh, painting. Um, but he uh, he's a simple little bird, and he winds up turning out okay. The birdhouse, I feel like it it, it turned out well. So. I use a couple of different browns and of course I lighten it up with a little bit of black or a little bit of white and a little bit of black for the shading um, to go around the areas. Um, it was not a difficult sketch and I do show the sketch on here so that you can, you can follow that. Um, it wasn't a difficult sketch, but you have to be aware of anything square. If you've taken any type of um, sketching classes, you have to be aware of anything square, making sure that as it's as it's walking its way away from you, you get those lines going in the right direction or you're going to have this weird looking box. So um, just make sure that you're aware of that. All of those edges need to walk back to the same point at the back of your painting. Uh, the easiest way to do that is as you're beginning um, you mark off a spot at the very farthest, which is not very far in a rock. Uh, there was only a couple of inches. You mark off a dot back there, and then that's where you're going to run all of your edges is to that. And it'll show that descending um, the sides of it and the, the, the top of the house, everything descending back to that point. Um, there are videos out there that show how to sketch like that. Uh, if this is something that you would like to do on a regular basis, <clears throat> I would recommend that you pull up one of those videos showing how to uh, descend those lines back to a point behind your object. Then, of course, you erase all those lines. And what you have is an object that shows that it's larger in the front and it goes smaller in the back. And it gives you that perception of an item that is that is uh, elongated that has um, is not a flat surface. So it's just a basic sketching uh, project. And again, if you've never taken any classes in that, that would be one that I would look into. You can find them all over the internet. Um, so anyways, sketch that in. I sketched in a little bit of a, a fence there. Um, I wanted to put something on the edges of that fence just to kind of block it in and give you some I put the bushes on the side because it, it makes your eye flow back into the picture. Otherwise, um, it, it, you flow away from your main object if you don't kind of pull it in, especially with a round rock. You know, you've got those circle, those circled edges. And uh, if you if you don't grab that with something and pull your eye back into that center object, your eye tends to wander away. That is all done without thinking about it, but that is something that um, if you do that, if you if you continuously paint where you're thinking of pulling everything back to your main project in the middle, your main object, um, it, it really will make your, your paintings flow a little bit better. So anyways, uh, I used very few colors on this. Um, I do list the colors in the uh, description, um, but I do list very or use very few colors. I used a blue for the the bird. I used some browns for the um, for the birdhouse. Um, I used a white and a cream color to do the fence, and then I used a couple of greens to do the uh, bushes on each side. Um, please don't get locked down with my colors. Um, you can do anything, you know, honestly, you can put anything in there. Uh, instead of a couple of bushes, you could put a tree off to the side. You could put, um, instead of, you know, trying to do some sort of a, a bluish, whitish, uh, garb that I did as a background, you could actually put a sunset. You can put anything back there. Um, so I guess that's the big thing is don't, don't lock yourself into just using what I use. Um, I'm starting to see people, they're, they're posting, um, copies of my tutorials. They'll actually paint the rock and they're putting it on the Facebook page. I love that. You have no idea how much I love seeing those. So please, if you try this, 
I beg you to please put it on the Facebook page. I love seeing those. And I'm starting to see some really unique ones. People are are really expanding and trying to do different things. So I'm seeing people add different um, accessories to the gnomes or to the um the turtle that I did they're they're adding their own accessories and I love seeing that that means people are starting to feel comfortable and they're starting to enjoy this and they're they're learning and they're pulling in their own creativity and putting other things in there and uh, that just it just warms my heart you have no idea how much I enjoy seeing that um also, uh, if you are not part of our Facebook group, please join. Um, it's uh, open right now. I At some point, we will make it private, but right now it's just open. We haven't had any problems, so I'd like to keep it um, open as long as I possibly can. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff that goes on there that you don't see on the YouTubes. I've started doing um, reels. And my reels are mostly to encourage people to do rock painting for hiding. Um, hiding rocks is where I started. Hiding rocks is where my love is. Hiding rocks is what really, uh, that is where my heart focuses. I, I love to paint rocks and hide them and people find them. I painted rocks and hid them um, I don't think that I put it on here. I think I put it on the, uh, I think I put it on my Instagram and on my Facebook page about six weeks ago in New Mexico. And two of them popped up this week. And that just, it amazes me that they sat there that long before somebody found them because I really do try to hide them in uh, very easily found places like, I don't hide them in difficult places. I put them in plain sight so people can actually find them and enjoy them. And um, But these were just found. And they just found our YouTube or our uh, Facebook group. And that is so cool to see. Um, I get so many comments about how they used to do this or they've seen this and they got away from doing it. And you know what? I think I'm going to try doing rocks again and hiding them again. And that encourages me to do it even more. So I wanted to start doing some reels because I really like to throw those little short reels on my Instagram. And so I've started throwing them on my Facebook page as well. And those reels show you how I do quick, fast, fun, little uh, hiding rocks. So you do get something a little bit different if you're on the group. So I hope that you look into that. Um, back to this little, this little guy. Um, I really, there's not a lot of, um, I don't know how to put this. There's not a lot of difficulty with this other than trying to get those lines straight. Um, I, when you're video, t videoing these to do as a tutorial, I have a, oof, it's probably close to a 16 or 20 inch round light. And my video device sits right in the middle of it. And that sits right in front of my face. That is the only way to give you my bird eye view of the rock as I'm painting it so that you can see what I'm seeing. With that being said, <laughs> I am trying to look around over, under, and to the side of all of this recording stuff um, in order to paint. And sometimes when you get into very fine detail, that can be difficult. Um, there's been times when I've stood up from my desk, I've leaned way over, looked under everything, and taken my, uh, my little lining brush, and I'm sitting there trying to get in the details but leaving it in place so that you can see it from like you're standing over it. So um, it, it can be challenging to do that. And with this one, it was. There was a couple of times I had to actually pull the rock out from underneath, 
of the video camera take it up to my face put on my 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 glasses and actually put in the lines so i could straighten them out and then put the rock back in place and then and then do some more painting um it's it's amazing you don't realize all the different things that you have to do in the the different places you have to place the camera in order to get you guys the video that you want and the video that you deserve so that you can see what's being being done so anyways I really hope that a few people try this one. It is it is very pretty. It's fun. It, it's not difficult. You should be good to go when it comes to putting in the lines because you're not videoing, so you should be able to do the lines. Um, the shading is really nice. Remember to shade up underneath the edges of the house, um, both on the front eaves and along the side eaves. Um, this particular thing since it is square since it is flat since it is so so dimensional um everything on this is shading or highlighting it is all one or the other and with that being said you can really get some great detail in there because it's all shading so i, I hope you take advantage sorry i hope you take advantage of that and um, really play with these colors, play with um, the way they go together and the way that they can show off edges and uh, come up with your own type of, um, the, your own look of this. Uh, you could put decorations on this thing. Um, I, after I got done, I got to thinking, oh man, a vine climbing that pole with a couple of flowers like maybe up underneath the edge of the birdhouse would have been really fun or even one that that climbed the pole and then came up over the top of the birdhouse would have been nice you could have put a couple of flowers there it really would have springed it up a little and um, maybe if I do another one, that's what I'll do. So play with this and see what you can find. Uh, the picture that I actually took it off of had several birds flying around it. Of course, on a rock this small, I didn't have enough room to do that. Um, but you could, you could put in as much or as little as you want on that. Uh, I did make the whole black. You don't have to go black. You could go like a, a, a just a dark brown. Um, the black gave me a lot of contrast and I kind of liked that. So that's why I put the, the hole in there black. Make sure that uh, the hole or the edge around that, uh, make sure that you get your some good shading around that. And you're showing those striations, those lines of the um, of the wood going backwards you you want to see that make sure that you get them going the right way i kind of had them going straight back and i'm like oh no that's not where the wood's going you know it's it's kind of going on a slant so i kind of uh put some uh, more paint on that kind of blend it a little bit so that they don't look so straight back they they need to kind of be at a at a slant so that you can see that that's the striations of that wood going in the direction that the birdhouse is going and then for the little bird, we made him a blue bird. Um, he's just a simple little bird that uh, I threw on there. Got a little wing that's going up. Looks like he just landed. And that pretty much topped off the, the rock. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you try it. Uh, he's This is not a real difficult one, like I said, other than making sure that you get your lines nice and straight. And uh, the colors are, are easy. You can use just anything that you've got. Um, but it's a nice little spring thing to do. And I think that it's one that is um, fun and it's one that you could do in, a, in an evening. So I thank you guys again for watching the videos. Um, I hope that you comment if there's other things that you'd like to see and Come back again. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye now.